Hey, in this episode, we'll be continuing with the crude operation. So uh, we created the form, we created the create option using the form like we did right here. And in today's episode, we'll be doing the listing. So we'll be fetching data from the, from the database and we'll be listing that into our page. So to do that, I will first start by creating a new action. So real quick, I'll duplicate the demo action. So it will be list action. And for now, let's simply return that guy right there. And let's go to the route. I'll duplicate this again. Here we go. So this will be list and it will become um, list right here we only accept get methods and here it become list action so with that in place let's first test that everything is fine so youtuber slash list and it is working fine we have the template there we go real quick let's go ahead and uh, create a new template so create it become also let's duplicate it so be having here list and it dot html dot tweak for sure and we can take this off okay let me close this one too youtube command we don't need it for now the routing is okay okay good all right so the list here i will uh, again copy this real quick and i will replace all this and here it become a list yep list dot html not htm just pay attention to that nice and we don't have the form so we won't be passing any form but instead we're passing data and we'll be fetching this data later so here let me copy oops sorry copy this right here data equal to an empty array for now how to fetch data from the database again we'll be using the entity manager and doctrine and the dependency injection so we start with it em here doing the same exact things we get the manager so get doctrine then get manager so for the data we'll be doing em here and from this em i will get repositories so what is a repository let's over this method so it does that get the repository for a class and here we need to provide a class and this class will be simply the entity youtube command so youtube command we are simply telling doctrine that we need to fetch data related to this entity and indirectly to the table created through this directory through, through this entity sorry so from that we can execute a certain methods like find find all find one find by etc in my case i will execute the find all that will return all the inputs all the data inside that table and there we go so now if i move back to the template here and i do execute dump let's say if this will work so it does not work for some reason because we have list.html oh yeah I, I got the point because actually we are executing the code inside the demo it's not inside the list here we go now if i refresh the page here we go we have a dump of six elements and each element contain an object with get and all the kind of stuff pretty cool so now we can uh, execute uh, some for each loop inside the template this is how we write a for in a twig so if item here in item so we say that this would be youtube inside uh, data and we can for example display youtube dot title for now all right let's test this out again refreshing the page and we have uh well <laughs> it's not really presentable but we have all the messy title that we in injected previously so here i'll be using ui kit from prestashop just to make things a bit uh, um slightly beautiful i go to tables and let's pick this uh, basic one so uh, where is the docs and show the code and i'll copy this real quick here <clears throat> th slash t body yep uh, okay we need also to put this t body outside because it's not repeated t body also goes outside here something is broken because it's missing this now refreshing there we go this is far much better now let's make these data dynamics so what do we have uh, firstly you would like to display the customer name let's put youtube comment to the side so we have the product id let's say the customer name would like to display the customer name here uh, content also do the grade 
now we need to create these uh, these entries so here start by doing td and i will duplicate this td one two three four five times dot something so starting will be with the customer name the title content the grade and here we having the id let's test this out refreshing the page we broke product uh, it is basically product id it must be this one okay there we go now it is working fine and the next episode we get more uh crude operation it will be the delete action